All right, guys, here is lesson 2.5, estimating two-digit divisors. I have this problem, this monster of a problem, 4,759 divided by 32. Well, in this lesson, we're just estimating. So I'm going to do a low and a high estimate. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at the divisor. I'm going to say, hmm, what number is that near? I can change the divisor, the dividend, or both if I want to. So I want to change the divisor to make things easier. 30 is really close to 32. And again, don't forget, I'm just estimating. So I'm going to go ahead and change that divisor to 30. Nice, big, round number. And so what I need is I need a four-digit number right here and one for my high estimate right there. I need a four-digit number that is lower then 4,759, but compatible with that three. So I'm worried about this low number. I need a number that's near 4,759 that I could make compatible by dividing by that three. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to say, well, wait a minute. What if I change this to 4,500? And you might say, well, wait, that's that's not really near it. Well, it is, though, because 45 can be divided by 3. Let's see, that's 1, 15. 45 divided by 3 is 15. Now, what about these zeros? Well, these are powers of 10. Anytime I'm dividing by a power of 10, I can cancel out 1 on this side and 1 on this side. These two cancel each other out which means I got one zero left this guy goes along for the ride so on my low estimate my low estimate of this big monster problem my answer should be somewhere near 150 but now I'm gonna go on the high side and I'm gonna say well wait what number is compatible that's divisible by three and what if I said 4,800 Let's see. 4 divided by 3 is 1. 18 divided by 3 is 6. And again, I'm going to cancel a 0 here. Cancel a 0 here. Why? Because they cancel each other out. Power of 10 divided by a power of 10. It's gone. There's one zero left. This guy goes along for the ride. So my real answer should be somewhere near 150 to 160. All right, so I got my estimate. My low estimate's 150, my high estimate's 160. Now don't forget, I changed the divisor and the dividend. So my quotient's 150 to 160. Now I went ahead and did it the long way, which is our next lesson, and I got 148 remainder 23. I went ahead and checked it, and I got 4,759 which is my dividend, so I know that that answer is correct. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Duty. You said it would be between 150 and 160. Well, yeah, but I think 148 remainder 23 is pretty darn close to my actual estimates. And remember, an estimate is just a guess. I hope that helps. Have a good night.